Okay, so week two, story number two. We're talking about the Destructors. Um, this is a story, maybe the, maybe you've read the lottery before in school as well. You may have read the Destructors. Um, but this first unit, I'm going to talk about this idea of destruction as a form of creation. That's a that's a line from page 118 at the top of the page in the bottom, the end of the first paragraph. Um, Streaks of light came in through the closed shutters where they worked with the seriousness of creators. And destruction, after all, is a form of creation. A kind of imagination had seen this house as it had now become. So I'm wondering what you all think about this idea of destruction being a form of creation. Do you agree with that? Do you not agree with that? What are some examples of that? Um, are there examples of that in art? Would you consider what these boys are doing as a form of art in this sort of weird and twi sick and maybe twisted form of art? Are there examples of destruction leading to creation in nature, in our own lives, um, in the lives of any of the characters in this story? That might be something to think about. Um, I've read, I was looking up a little bit about this story and I found this interesting little tidbit. Um, I gave you some of the historical context for the lottery and here's a little historical context for um, the destructors. So one of the story's most famous lines, Destructor, destruction after all is a form of creation, also identifies one of the story's main themes. Set in post-World War II England, the short story itself suggests the possibility of creation in the face of destruction, specifically the widespread German bombings of London. So aside from looking at these individual characters and what destruction might mean to them, I think this might also be read as an allegory in a way to what's going on in the culture. Remember we talked about the lottery? possibly having a couple different different allegories. The allegory for what's happening in the draft and maybe a retelling of the way that we often conform to things in our own lives. Maybe this is a little bit, you know, it sounds weird that this might be an uplifting story, but um, maybe this story is trying to suggest that through destru destruction there is creation. Even though England or London got really, you know, messed up for lack of a better word during the bombings, um, during World War II, maybe there's a way for people to come back from that. So that might be another thematic link um, to this. And this idea of destruction or creation out of destruction is something that I'd be really interested in hearing about from you in the discussion. So feel free to contribute that to the thread, um, and I'll probably hop in with some of my own thoughts, because I think there, you know, not to give it away, but I think there can be destruction um, that's necessary to creation in art, in nature, and those sorts of things. So think about that, see if you find any examples in the text, and then we can talk about that more in the discussion thread.